So to quantify the stability, let's keep track of where the wing lift is and where the H-stab lift is, all relative to the CG at various angles of attack of the aircraft as a whole. So we have this sheet here where these constants up here, these inputs are constant. So let's say we're designing for this airspeed, this total weight, we have this density and gravity, and this is the wing and the h stab. So the cord and span and dihedral are not changing. And we can put any angle of attack here. So if we adjust the angle of attack, what this is is just a interpolation of the airfoil data from the other sheet back here of coefficient of lift and data like that. So this forecasts the, or interpolates for the coefficient of lift at this angle of attack. So we can adjust that and see where we are along the coefficient of lift curve. This is all assuming an infinite aspect ratio, so we're not going to adjust for the, uh, the wingtip effect in this video. So we can adjust that. It finds where our center of pressure is as a percentage of cord. That's also interpolating from the airfoil sheet that we created in the airfoil series. It's going to calculate our lift as a function of the coefficient of lift of the wing, the area, and, and we're multiplying by the, the cos of the dihedral so that we just adjust for that effect as well. The moment arm, that's going to come from, so we we're going to move where our lift is at using the knowledge of where the center of pressure is on that wing and then measure it in SOLIDWORKS where the, how far the, the lift is from the, C, the CG. So the moment is just the lift times the moment arm and with a, a standard of positive being a pitch up moment. Same thing for the H-DAB, although for the H-DAB, we can take note in SOLIDWORKS that, so because the H-DAB is an inverted cambered airfoil, our, our measurement for the H-DAB, the angle of the H-DAB is going to be the opposite direction as the measurement of the the angle of attack of the wing, so that when we change, let's say we change angle of attack upwards, that would mean that the lift becomes more negative, more downwards. So there's a negative in the lift calculation here just because of that. The moment arm is where that lift is at. this lift here in relation to the CG and the moment again is is the moment arm times the lift. So we're gonna have to trim the aircraft so I have here on the right the aircraft total angle of attack so the, the angle of attack of the fuse and how many G's we're pulling so we have to first trim to 1G to, to find the point that we're flying at 1G along uh, and calculate how stable we are in that, in that cruise. So we know that we have 55 pounds of weight, so we're going to have to have a sum of 55 pounds of, of lift and HDAB downforce, and we're going to have to have also a sum of zero torque about the CG.